For this video, I really wanted to play with Bluetooth, so what I've done is I've added a Bluetooth connection between two FPGA boards. Uh, here is the Go board, which is on nanland.com, uh, connected to a Bluetooth PMOD module. Uh, basically just gives the, the Go board a Bluetooth connection on the end there, it's blinking. And here's another Go board, uh, also with the same PMOD module with a Bluetooth chip hanging out on the other side. Uh, you'll notice this one is just floating connected to a battery, so this is just like hanging out in midair. The other one is connected to my computer, uh, so that's how I'm sending commands to it. So I'm able to type commands here, which go to this board, and show up on this board. So the Bluetooth connection between these two boards is sending data from that transmitter there over to this receiver here, and as I'm hitting numbers on the keyboard, zero is ASCII 30, one is 31, 32, 33, 34. Uh, this is printing the ASCII value of the digits that I'm hitting. So I'm sending, sending data uh, between two go, go boards over Bluetooth. The motivation for this project was that I wanted the ability to communicate to a board with UART, uh, but not necessarily with a wired connection. So Bluetooth uh, was one logical option. And uh, Digilent makes a PMOD board called the uh, PMOD BLE Bluetooth Low Energy Interface. So this is a PMOD interface here. This is what the Go board has. You can communicate um, over this PMOD interface. It's pretty simple to use. And um, it's 25 bucks for the board. I bought a, got a couple of them. And um, you can, this is a super simple way to just add a Bluetooth interface to your board. And this, this chip here that's on the end is uh, the Microchip uh, Roving Networks R4871, RN4871, which is the chip that's actually handling all the Bluetooth interface, interface stuff. So this is the microchip part, um, the RN4871. It comes with um, a pretty long user guide that has a lot of commands and, and data and things you can do with it, but all I really wanted to do was just have module to module connection between two um, between two Go boards running Bluetooth. Um, and so I wanted the transparent UART service, which basically makes it super easy to have two UARTs talk between two boards. All right, so first things first, following the instructions here, dollar sign, dollar sign, dollar sign to talk to the RN4871. So I'm talking directly to the Bluetooth chip right now. Um, so it's not sending any of these commands to the other device. Um, so I hit plus sign to enable echoing so I can see what I'm typing, SS comma C0 to enable device information. And now I hit F to scan. And this is scanning for any Bluetooth device that is visible to this particular chip. So any headphones or any keyboards or anything that's nearby that's a Bluetooth device, it'll tell you information about it. And I still don't understand all of the things that it tells me, um, but yeah, it gives you information about near to, nearby devices. Um, and the one I'm interested in, I've, I've renamed it to poop device. So that's the one I want to try to connect to. So I see it there. This is the MAC address, D88 blah, 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 of the device that I'm trying to connect to. And that's what this uses to type, to, to connect. So the next command is the one where I connect. So C0, C comma zero comma the MAC address. So let's enter that one. Let me stop this. All right, so C, Oop, this is still going. Stop. C zero D eight eight O three nine F eight B six two E. Okay, so now it says uh We'll connect and then the MAC address and says stream open. And now any any anything I type here in the um TerraTerm serial port will just be forwarded to the other the other device. So um, now that it's being received, look at this video. So now when I'm typing commands in here, they are being printed to the Go board that is connected wirelessly over Bluetooth. So it's a pretty cool little device. Um, you can actually bond these two. So I believe, I believe you hit. Uh, so dollar sign, dollar sign, dollar sign gets you back to command mode. I think if I hit B, then it'll bond them so that now every time the two devices come up, they'll recognize each other. I believe that's how bonding works. But again, I'm still figuring out Bluetooth, so I'm not 100% sure about the details of this. But um, pretty cool stuff. Um, I really just wanted to kind of have a project that I could start understanding what Bluetooth was about and how to work with it. And this was pretty easy. I got this going in a few hours. 
Um, all the code is linked on GitHub. It's not very complicated because it's really just a UART interface and a seven segment display. Um, so it's not a lot of you know low level Bluetooth stuff. This chip really abstracts away all the Bluetooth stuff for you and you just communicate with it. You can communicate to it with, you, with UART. So um, I'm gonna link to that in the description for this video. All right, just to walk you through uh, this project a little bit, um, here's the code. Like I said, it's this is on GitHub, so it's available to you um, to hack with. Um, but it's uh, pretty straightforward. I have the computer interface here. So this is only applicable to the first board that's actually talking to the computer. The second board doesn't actually use this at all. Um, and then the Bluetooth interface is just on um, these PMOD, these PMODs here, PMOD interface. So signal two is the receive. Uh, on the RN4871, which is the output, this is an output, so the FPGA is driving this signal, and IOP mod 3 is the input, so the FPGA is being driven by this signal, and it's just forward, we'll, we'll see what that's doing. I won't go into that yet. Um, seven segment displays, so uh, if you want to look at GoBoard Project 7, that's where I show how these work um, for just receiving ASCII data and displaying it. I'm not going to go into too much detail about how that works on this project. This is more about the Bluetooth stuff, but the, those are the seven segment displays there. And I also just have some LED outputs. I was going to play with those and I just ended up turning them off for now. A uh, bunch of wires. Here you go. Uh, so forward the data from the computer to the Bluetooth transmitter. So um, the the data coming from the computer is this IURRX, and this goes to the to the transceiver. I'm sorry, to the to the Bluetooth transceiver, and then data being received by the transceiver goes back to the computer. So I can see what I'm type. What I can send data, and that's what I'm typing on my keyboard. And then whatever gets sent back, like the Bluetooth stuff and any any CMD, blah blah blah, that all gets displayed on my screen. That's because of um, I'm transmitting stuff back. Um, I'm driving the chip out of reset, so it's not held off. And basically anything UART-RX from Bluetooth uh, instance. So this is you know any data coming in on that PMOD3, so this is from the receiver. Um, it's just sending it as if it were a normal UART signal. It is a normal UART data, uh, and it's just sending it into my UART module. Um, that's coming out as a data valid pulse and a Bluetooth byte. And I just take the byte, the upper nibble goes to the, uh, the upper digit goes to the one of the seven segment displays, and the lower digit goes to the other seven segment display. Um, I do have to invert them due to the logic on the go board, and then those get driven out right there. I turn off the LEDs here. So again, pretty straightforward. Um, it highly leverages Project 7 um, from the go board tutorials, and uh, basically just added a couple signals to that one. Other than that, it's pretty much the same thing. But uh, yeah, Bluetooth is fun. Thanks everyone.